We're about to set up um, photography. We're gonna do uh, some group photo shoots. So I'm about to set up the flashlights and um, my cam camera. I'm using the Canon EOS R8 uh, with a RF lens 24-70 f2.8. Um, and so this will be my first group photo shoot with this camera. I just got it, so in the um, strobes as well. We're using the um, the Godox 8400s. So I got two of them, so we're gonna set those up. And uh, yeah, do this group photo shoot right here at this uh, this hotel in Bethesda, Maryland. Um, using this room right here. So that's pretty much. You got the the gear. Godox 8400. This is the mount that it comes with. Um, I take take this one off, and they come with an adapter that you can uh, a Bowens mount adapter, so that you can um, put on Bowens mount soft boxes and stuff. All right, so this is me um, setting up the parabolic soft box for the. Um, my key light which is this 36 inch deep angler um, parabolic softbox here it comes with two diffusions one on the inside and then one on the outer side so this should make my um, the shadows nice and soft and also it enlarges the light source to make it big so that the lighting is off also um, softer and a little bit more wrap around too All right, so here I like to give the Godox 8400 mono two flash strobes praises. For one, they're small and compact, and they're very lightweight. I could fit three of these in my backpack. Um, and then also, the batteries are super small. You can fit those in your pocket. So, um, and then thirdly, there's no wires. Why? Because this is uh, all-in-one um, mono two. So everything is built into the strobe light itself. And it's easy, it's very easy as far as setting up and getting started. You know, you charge up your battery, turn on the strobes, you know, set your channel, set your group, you know, adjust your lighting via the trigger, and you're good to go. We got like three cameras in this bag. This video camera, this is a camera I'm gonna be doing my photography with. I got the Godox. Godox V1C. This is a flash I'm going to be using, using to do my candid photography for the event this evening. Uh, but for the photo shoot, we got these strobe lights right here, mono lights. So, what I'm going to be shooting with <clears throat> it's brand new Canon 2470 f2.8 RF lens, autofocus stabilization. And the main attraction is the Canon EOS R8. And this guy is super light. I'm going to do a review for this. So stay posted with that. And this is the Godox X Pro C remote flash trigger that I'm going to be using on my Canon EOS R8. That's going to trigger these Godox 8400s. Just finished setting up. Our two light strobe light mono lights with the Godox 8400. We just got finished setting these up for this um, big family photo shoot. I think it's going to be at the most at one time 20 people. So we, we're in this hotel in Bethesda, and this is the room a nice square size room. I'm not good with um, square footage, so I can't tell you how big it is, but um, we got this one 8400 right here. I got this just shooting up which is gonna be ambient feel, flash ambient feel, just to kind of fill the room a little bit. I don't want it to be too dark behind them, but then also I raise up the ISO. And then over here, we have this main big light right here. This is gonna be the main key light, uh, which is on the soft box to kind of soften up the light as well. You can see it has, a, it has two diffusers, one inside and one on outside. So this one is gonna be shooting directly at the group um, facing this way so uh, it can get nice key light. And then this one is used as a fill slash ambient light that will shoot up and kind of bounce everywhere. So the room looked dark because I have its ambient light turned off because I'm only using my two lights 
and that's the reason why the second one it will be bouncing to add ambient feel and you can uh, you'll see that in just a second I also post the uh, camera settings as well and so this is the final result and amazing amazing from this Canon EOS R8 24 megapixel photography camera amazing so this is how it looks raw this is compact raw you can do compact raw or regular raw and this is how the image looks straight out of the camera with the 8400s my my key and my fill and this is straight out of the camera this in it, it straight out the camera it looked really good uh, because it's raw I need to punch the colors a little bit uh, just crop just a little bit but um, as you can see like uh, 27 mega 27 megabytes for this compact raw very very good um, what else this is uh, uh you see I uh, out of the 24 to 70 millimeter where I shot this at 29 millimeters um, I was between me and the group I was about maybe um, five footsteps maybe six footsteps back so I, I had to go a little bit wider than I would like to you know uh, but besides this is like tw almost 20 people in a group so I couldn't you know be at a nice 35 millimeter or 50 millimeter so but man I'm just really um, um, blown away by the quality that came out of this uh, EOS R8 and also big ups to the Godox 8400s I mean they have a, a nice punch I didn't even um, sorry I didn't record the actual flash output um, from the flash during this shoot so I can't tell you what my flash setting was on the 8400s but I know that I wasn't even close to use the two full powers so yeah that pretty much does it um, that pretty much wraps it up for this just a quick review from a photo shoot with the Canon EOS R8 and Godox 8400 um, subscribe like this video more is coming soon and I'll see you guys next time